it is, it will come as no surprise to regular viewers to learn, a wet day in the north. <laughs> uh, I'm off on a bit of a road trip. I am going to mostly go out to pick up a new snowboard actually, well, new to me, actually a very old snowboard. Um, but I'm going near enough to Jamie Jones's house and he's got an exciting new project on the go, which he's been documenting on his channel as well. Um, but I thought it'd be a good excuse to go and have a look and take him uh, some punches to borrow that he needs for the next step in his conversion. So, road trip. Well, it's miserable on both sides of the Pennines. There's the bug plug, which you've seen before, which may be being cannibalized for this project which is this 320D E91 BMW, uh, I think. Um, actually in pretty good shape, nice and straight, decent interior. And here's a Jamie working on mounting his GS450H gearbox. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is what we do, building these things on a driveway. At least this way, it doesn't have to be quite as accurate as the old adapter plate and coupler method. No, this is true. This is true. Well, that thing, I shove it in and it's sort of done. So this is an old clutch plate cut down with a couple of uh, box extensions on it which is going to be against the plate and the clutch plate just holds the input shaft still basically doesn't it yeah. so all of the power of the motors goes to the output shaft yes. out here and then you can get the right size Gribo and everything lines up in terms of your length there's a pun in there somewhere yeah. <laughs> I'm missing out on the puns this far this week. Um, then you can't, it should be a straight swap. That's the idea anyway. And absolutely loads of room. I know. Nissan Leaf motor for sale as well. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> quick, quick ad. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want a Nissan Leaf motor? Was that an EN57 or something? Yeah, EN57 and the Yaris inverter above it. Is that the one that's in pieces? Yeah. Yeah. The lid is there, but I have been spinning the motor. Oh, big dark hole into which we'll go GS450H down the transmission tunnel and then absolutely acres of space for batteries. You're making me want to do this. This would make us such a more sensible conversion than me doing another sports car. What's your plan for power steering? Uh, change the rack for an electric one. Oh, did they do one for this this generation? Do, yeah, and somebody's already somebody's written a tutorial for doing it. You Fantastic. Plug it in, uh, you take a 12 volt up to there and a ground and then get into the can and as soon as it sees an RPM signal it wakes up. Fantastic. I was um, chatting some Dutch guys the other day who've wired up their clutch pedal to trigger um, effectively uh, zero current. Oh yeah. So you just depress your clutch to give you freewheel for, uh, for gear changes, no point, no, 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 no point on this. No, I'm going to rip the, the clutches there, but I think the... You can uh, also well take the pedal out and everything. Yeah, the master cylinder must be inside somewhere. Why is it? it well, okay, it wasn't an auto, you bought an auto shifter. Yeah, I bought an auto shifter. There's a, that's why when I was, the other one, I was smacking around the shifter. Yes, yeah, so you're trying to take, you get your knob through yeah. a big dark hole. I haven't even seen the pitch yet. <laughs> it's got to fit, surely. Somehow goes in there. I don't know how. Not come up from the other side? Possibly. I mean, it's got this like gasket, but that looks like it's on the inside. They're not icing hard, no, not. It's all very clean. This looks like this. That. 
looks like that extra bit of foam comes out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's sort of marked holes that haven't been drilled all the way through gotcha. for the shifter, so I guess I'm going to have to just pop them through and do something. Uh, go in there somewhere and uh, just go and grab the trim. And, uh, Fairly basic spec, but still a nice place to be, as they say in car reviews. And it's all in good shape. I mean, all the driver's bolsters and stuff. Quite like the, uh, the very analog gauges. It's pretty cool. Chrome trimmed like mine. Even got Parrot Bluetooth in here. Very cool. I took the uh, turbo set, that looked like new as well. Just say that again for camera, how much you paid for this? 450 quid. <laughs> Bonkers, that is a hell of a car for 450 quid. My salt ancillaries and all that, so. Yeah, what do you get for the cats? Uh, not a lot, it's a scrap bar that's gone down like 20 quid or something. Oh really? Oh, has it just pissed out a bit of diesel? <laughs> oh. Priming fuel pump when you open the oh, door. Ah, okay. I've not disconnected that. <laughs> That's a pain. Getting yeah. the fuel tank out is an absolute pain. It doesn't look too bad, to be honest. No? No. I mean, once you've got the prop shaft off and the, all the plastic trims, it looks fairly easy. It's just empty and it's going to be. I've got a plan there. Okay. Fuel pump? Yeah. I mean, just pop <laughs> the fuel pump and just empty into some container. That works. Yeah. Let me see if I can get the camera underneath to see actually how much space there is without me getting all wet. Oh, there he is. Uh, yeah, down the passes. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That must be where it's all boxes. I wonder if that's plastic. I wonder if that'll come out. Because this is all empty. That plastic box will come out. Might be able to get a pack across there. Oh. So where's the fuel tank? Oh, okay. The fuel tank's right back there under the rear seats. Oh, wow. So... Uh, yeah, so you've got loads of room. It's a bit rustier back here than up front. Not bad, though. Not, not bad. Like I say, you could easily get at least two modules there. Yeah. But if you've got 24 or something up front, kilowatt hours, not modules. Yeah. I mean, there's a limit to how much you need with fast charge. Yeah, 100 miles is plenty for me. It's about 36, isn't it, for, with comfort? Uh, comfortably, I reckon. Yeah. yeah, which is what I'm going for in, the, in mine. How I'm going to fit 36 in a Z3, I don't know, but that's the plan. At least 24, ideally 36. Basically, just. That goes to the rest of the car, I didn't really have to cut anything, just unplugged. Yeah. And you got all your can logs before you uh, started dismantling. Yeah. Unlike idiot here. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the first. No. Thank you to Andy, by the way. Having Me having promised him, Andy Powell, me having promised him can logs, he finally sent me can logs. <laughs> Which I must get around to implementing. Take that out, Useful little bottles, those, actually, because they're quite easy to mount as well. I like the motorbike ones, you know, those little thin ones I've got in the Beetle. Oh, yeah, yeah. The 125, because they're, they're quite small and you don't really need to expand that much, doesn't it? It doesn't get that high. No, it doesn't, no. Yeah, they're like seven quid each. <laughs> What's your budget for this one? Is that public knowledge? I don't know. <laughs> it's just whatever I can get hold of. <laughs> what have I spent so far? Four, 450 on this. Uh, 250 on that. 350 on that. Yeah. Uh, 100 quid on DC DC and Challenger. Uh, I've got a CCS socket somewhere, I think that 100 quid. But I've been just buying bits over the last, yeah. last year or so, so. I've got all the bits to do a second conversion, I just need, I haven't got the time to do a second yeah. conversion. Oh, AC. Or the space for that matter. AC. Oh, that's, that's an Outlander one, is it? Yeah. I think I've seen that before, actually. It's been on my shelf about yeah. a year. But ready to go. Yeah. Well, pretty much. I've got everything to finish. It's just 
time. It's in some ways you kind of want to leave the AC pump where it is. Be easier than bringing it up here, wouldn't it? I don't know. You could just tuck it sort of there, couldn't you? Although your yeah, inverter's going to be there, isn't it? Is that the way I'm going to put it? Just wait and see. And yeah, once you've got some batteries in, or mock batteries, you know, the cardboard. Yeah, I've got a, a new condensed circus. That's got that mounts to the radiator and everything, which have obviously I've taken away. Oh so yeah, you need to make some mounts for that. Make some mounts for that. It looks like there are some made out of leaves at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the old stuff was held on by just clumps and clumps of oil. <laughs> In fact, that's my pile of stuff to get rid of. Crikey, yeah. Wow. That's BM just dried oil. BMW, oil leaks, who would have thought? <laughs> that's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> That was all falling in my face when I was laying <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do you know, the weird thing is I missed that bit. Really? I really want to do that bit again. It's this bit I here I enjoy the most, not the removal of the engine. It's I hate that. No, I'm quite happy with the spanners and hammers. I say I'm happy. When you watch a video of me doing that, I'm <laughs> grumbling and groaning and swearing, but I actually quite enjoy it. Yeah. I know my stepdad was round in the hood. I was there complaining, saying, oh, I hate it. So he goes, look, look at smile on your face. <laughs> 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 Just a quick summing up video. Um, it was good fun to get over to see Jamie, albeit briefly. I only had about half an hour there before I had to head back and he had to go off and uh, and do dad things. Um, but super cool project he's got there. Really makes me jealous that I haven't been able to get started on mine yet, let alone that not finish my first one properly. Good progress coming in that front. Um, the gauge is all sorted now. Um, the latest code's updated um, and working all fine. Copy my rubbish board. I am going to try and do a PCB design for that to drive two gauges. Um, watch this space for that coming up. Um, various BMS slash battery issues going on, um, which is preventing me getting a second pack in at the moment. Um, but yeah, do you know what? I'm just going to crack on with the fun stuff for a bit. Sometimes you have to step back from the things you can't do and do the fun bits. So I'm going to uh, do a bodywork uh, episode soon. Uh, as you've seen, I've got my gazebo up in the backyard now. I'm going to take the back clam off the car and do some work on that. So all coming up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Catch you on the next one. Bye bye.